Hey guys, Tektai here, and today we're gonna be making a mechanical laser show, cause it's only 9pm and I'm kinda bored, so yeah, why not make this, I just saw it on Thingiversal, I just wanna make it, cause I can. Um, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is obviously download the... STLs just to print them because this is 3D printed obviously so we're gonna just download these you know all of them I don't like downloading it the zip way it's so annoying but now that I realize this is probably more annoying because there's a lot more files great uh, I'm going to just print the Batman one, cause um, I like the Batman one. So there's an X and a Y. So after we do all this, I'm gonna show you how to make a custom one, because you can. And I actually want to make my own custom one, so that would be interesting to see. Who knows if it will work? Cause me, I f I kind of fail at everything. Yeah. Alright, once you get all your SCLs downloaded, there should be nine. But if you downloaded the other three templates, there should be fifteen. But I'm just just printing the Batman one f just to see how it goes. So yeah. So each part has a different print setting, so we're gonna have to keep that in mind. So I will open the cams could I print these at the same time probably why would I open them you know what oops I'll fix it don't worry oh god this already looks complicated I'll open the other file I'll open the Y oh that's an interesting print <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never printed anything like this. So I'm going to do point 0.2 layer height, 15% infill. Uh, no build plate adhesion. Okay, got the temperatures right. There's certain print speed out now. Alright. So we got to do supports. Seems right. It says support distance X and Y to one millimeter or more. It's on point seven, so I'll just change that to one. Oh, let me do that. We can save the file, and I'm going to save this to the laser show folder. I'm gonna name this cams and put four hours. Oh yeah, Batman. Actually, let's take a look at this. See how it's going to print. I hope it prints okay. It seems like it should print fine. The crank gear. Let's go to the crank gear. So, 15% infill again, supports, and a large brim. Let's put a brim on here. We're going to need that brim. Let's name this to crank. Damn it, it doesn't let me crank gear. It's two hours. Then we can delete that and open the file. I hate when it opens here. Now we can do the back plate. Oh gosh. <laughs> I honestly just feel retarded right now. I should be in bed. It's I'm like so tired. Blame that. Yeah, Tyler, just 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 blame the time. Alright. So this is 
back to play, and that's four hours. <clears throat> it's already ten hour, ten hours of printing. Whole build plate I need, and I'm putting a skirt, fifteen percent infill, and no supports. Don't need those. Why don't I up the print speed? I should have done that. I feel like it can handle seventy. My printer should be able to do that. It could probably handle eighty, but you know me. It seems good. It's easy. Why are these so hard to print? Hundred percent infill. I'm gonna reduce the print speed for this one because of supports and this is a hundred infill supports and a large brim. What is I don't even know what that does. I'm actually so newbie at this. You know what? I'm new to all this printing stuff and I'll learn as I go with this channel. So, don't get mad at me if I screw anything up or I'm acting really retarded. Because I'm actually not that smart. Just saying. <laughs> I like how this print turned into a 30 minute print to an hour extra print with the support. That's just great. Does this even do anything? That actually... Oh, uh, whatever. Killed print time. This print is going to take ages. This is probably the longest project I've printed on my printer. And now the fasteners. We need two bolts. But I need to remove that. Is this the bolt? Uh oh. I'm guessing this is the bolt. So apply it by one. I don't even like where these are. I don't like that. I just have OCD now of where it's pr where it is getting printed. Won't that make stringy? This is just OCD stuff. Okay, guys, you 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 don't have to yell at me. That's good enough. Skirt. No, D one to brim it too. Infill is 50. No support. So we have. We have a 15 hour print right now. Let's say 16 to be safe. Because the time it takes to set up the printer, heating and stuff, cleaning it, you know. 16 hours of printing. It's just great. So, when it's done printing, you guys will see me when it's done. I'll show you the assembly and stuff. I'm removing the support material. I'll do some printer time lapses too.
and then take this off. Here, tear it apart. I should get some pliers. It does give a lot of waste though. Look at all this waste. So this tiny thing. The bottom didn't really come out good because it's a poor material. But oh well. When I made pliers, these are the only ones I could find. So I use these. This one's very interesting. I'm gonna have to clean this up because it looks like it printed in between these gear teeth. So I'm gonna have to clean that up in there. This is one of the the cams. So here's the other cam. I don't know which one is X and which one is which one is Z or X and Y. Again, I'm gonna have to clean this up. This printed okay. Needed no support. Uh, I did speed it up a little bit because I was impatient. I actually put it on to 999 multi the multiplier speed, so it has a little rough edges in there. <laughs> Don't ask why. I just yeah, I was impatient. Um, this is a crank. Oh, and as you see here, this little the crisscross, I just learned that if you turn that on, I think it's Connect Z or something in Kira, I, don't, I actually forgot. It actually makes the support structure actually, it sticks it better to the bed. I had never used this before, and it works so much better with supports than without it, because I always had failed prints when I didn't have it on. I always got so mad. But so helpful this this little grid. So I don't think we need that. There's a brim I gotta clean up here. Again, this arrow that it printed on the bottom, the support material, kind of ruined it. Sadly, the the screw part looks pretty good. It has little bumps on it though, but you know, just a crank. I gotta clean these parts up. And here are the screws. I honestly don't know. Which one is Y and Z? Uh, they have the Y and Y. And, I keep saying Y and Z. It's X and Y. They have X and Y on it, so that's good. These just printed with a brim. I think these two bolts are the same. They printed fine. See, this is Y. And this is the X. Just, just came off. Ooh. Really fun. What? Okay, whatever. Um, yeah. Still, the bottom is pretty ugly because of the support material. This mage should just pop right out. Look at all this waste. And there's support material in there I'll take out later. I don't need to do that on the camera. So this part printed out pretty good. This was the longest part that needed to be printed. I didn't even need these. Uh, this part took four hours. I believe this one took two. These took like an hour. The bolts, four of them. These took like two hours. Two hours. And the crank took an hour. This is all the waste it printed. If you guys have an idea of what to do with all this wasted plastic, please comment it. Like, I know you can melt it down into stuff, but then what? Alright, so, we're gonna assemble this thing. I think we gotta put the bolts in here. Nobody needs instructions. But maybe if we work it a little. Eh, it's fine. This one turns in right, which is normal. So the Y turns in the right, correct way. This one goes in the opposite. Okay, we'll put this back in. Yeah, so this one goes in fine. And then this, this one goes in right, left. 
Don't know how hot, hard I should spin these. Like, tighten them. Just gotta put the lever in. So, why don't just make one with two cents lasers I found on that eBay? You know, let's do it. So, this is just a USB cable. Cut the end off. I'm gonna cut the green and the white off in this silver stuff. I'll leave us with the, the black and the red. This is only for a 5 volt laser, though. Here's the laser. This is, you could get a pack of 10 for these for $2 on eBay. They work fine, but two of them that came with mine, they, they didn't work. So, just be aware of that. Just get a pen. Like, I don't know how big the pen is, but just make sure you can, uh, make sure you can fit the laser in here. But I'm not going to put the laser in it because it's not long enough. Strip the wire of the ground and then the red and when we do this damn it I hate doing this when we do that let's just take some uh, flux and put both of the wires in because you know these wires are stupid yeah we got some on there i'm gonna take this thing put the laser in there and then I'm gonna take this ribbon cable that I just ripped off of other ribbon cable and yeah, cut it in half, get more room. Whoops, I'm a little clumsy. There's not much room here. Cut that. Strip these. Whoops. I'll put the side in the pen then. Um, it's ugly. Strip those. I just cut that, so screw that. I'm learning. I don't know. I had to say that, but who needs class when you learn yourself? Let's see if it's heated. Yeah, it's heated enough. This is not gonna go well. I just can tell already there's the flux that worked no 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 damn it stupid solder you know perfect worst soldering job I've ever done just saying ever it's pretty bad laser works guys laser works laser works we're good we're good yeah, totally insulated. Totally. Like, it, it just came off. This is why you should not be lazy, kids. Because it fits perfectly. Alright, you get the point. I'm just going to connect this to the USB and then it's just the laser pointer in a pen. So you can point it, you know? You know what, guys? I'm just uh, really, really retarded and I did not put the X and Y cam in right. They were not aligned correctly. So it does work now. If you want to know what happened, was I don't want to point the laser in my eye. Is that you see? Let me unplug this. You see that these things 
I just threw them on. They shouldn't have just been thrown on. Just make sure they are properly lined up. Like, both of them are level. Like, the design, you can tell by the line. Like, my, this one was, like, this way. And this one was the opposite. So, you just make sure they are aligned when you first start. That's what was giving me an issue because I am retarded. So yeah, it does work now. And by the way, you can only do this if, like with the laser, if you buy a 5 volt laser. And make sure you plug it into 5 volts, not like something else. That will ruin the laser. And you can just die probably if you plug in more than 5 volts into the laser. Your house may blow up and you may, uh, you may go on fire too. So, all in all guys, should you make this? Yes, it's very, very, very cool. And it looks a lot better in person than on the video. So, and you see how long this video took to make. If you uh, look at the date from the beginning of the video and the date now. I was just lazy to edit <laughs> and recording this part later. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm still learning how to make videos like this, so sorry if there's not much information in them. I'm still new to this, I'm still learning, so sorry. And I've noticed that the video is pretty long. I'll try to cut that down next time. So, goodbye guys.